like, where do I start, right? Sport has been my life since I was a kid. I went on to run for Nigeria for three years. I was the national champion for Nigeria and a two-time African champion. And I went on to compete in the summer 2012 Olympic Games in the 100 hurdles. Then eventually I went on to become a bobsled athlete and started the first ever African bobsled team in 2017. My first Olympics was really, uh, it was a journey because it was me proving to myself that I can compete with the best in the world. And it is an experience that will forever live in my heart. I thought that I was done with sports, but there was a bigger purpose that was left for me. And that was in the Winter Olympics. A true passion of mine was really helping people. And so I thought about it and I said, well, what would make me eligible to really be able to help those athletes that I know I can help? As a black woman, it's not prevalent for us to be at the highest level of competition. These are spaces that have been most commonly taken over by males. And so I said, well, one thing that would definitely put me in a position where I can't be denied is if I went back to another Olympic Games. I had a few friends from track and field who had gotten into it. And eventually the sport and the interest started to grow to become much bigger than me. And that's how I ended up starting the Nigerian Federation. Engage your core, squeeze, flat on your back. You got it, you got it. Community is infectious. Okay. Good job. We're doing good. You pull your influences from your community, either in a positive or a negative light, and they understand the importance of achieving at a high level, as well as leaving a space better than where you found it. Perfect. All right. So I'm grateful that I have a community that understands me and that we vibe on the same level. You saw it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nigeria, my country. <laughs> it's been in my life purpose to try and do my best to elevate the vision of what people see in Nigeria and in Africa and to invite others to see the country and the continent as a place of respect, a place where people deserve opportunities, a place where you can look at and say, yeah, you're sub-Saharan, but you're also a winter sports country. In life, time stops for no one. So you can choose to sulk and be still, or you can choose to continue moving forward and truly make a difference and impact your legacy.